Hi, I'm Jean McLaughlin. I'm the curator of the special exhibition um, that's on at the Bascom Center for the Visual Arts in Highlands, North Carolina. The title of the show is Narrative Abstraction Iteration. And um, it's April 2020, and I am sheltering at home to do my part to slow the coronavirus. Um, and if it's possible at all, we want this show to open to the public so you will get to see it in person. The show runs through August um, 2nd. Um, in the meanwhile, we have a video walkthrough for you and we want you to be able to experience this work remotely. Um, the work is extraordinary and really deserves the time that it takes to go to an exhibit and really stand in front of work and think about it. So I hope that you'll spend time with this video. I also hope you'll download the materials that we've put together that are available on the, the Bascom website. <clears throat> I truly enjoyed putting this show together and uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the premise that I was using to come up with the title and the um, and the artist that I've chosen for this exhibition. But before I do that, I want to thank Zach Rogers. Zach is the exhibitions manager at the Bascom, and he has done an amazing job installing this exhibition and um, working on the, the video walkthrough and working with me remotely. He just did a terrific job, so thank you. And I wanna also thank Marie Sharp, who is um, a board member and chair of the Bascom's uh, Exhibitions Committee. She had several ideas in mind when she contacted me. She was hoping that we could somehow um, highlight anniversaries. The Bascom is in its new facility or its wonderful facility that is now 10 years old. Um, it's celebrating this 10th anniversary and it's the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment. So. A <clears throat> hundred years ago, women got the right to vote for the first time, and we wanted to recognize that. She also thought that I might use this exhibition as a time to um, feature or highlight work by the artist affiliated with Penland. She knew that I had been the director of the school for nearly 20 years. I retired in December of 2017. And so, you know, it's a real pleasure and honor for me to be able to um, use this exhibition opportunity to shout out, call some attention to the, the artist affiliated with Penland and the kind of work that Penland helps um, artists imagine. Each of the artists in the show is an expert in craftsmanship in the area or media that, that they choose to work. And um, they find this media, these materials, as their way of, of communicating um, what they have to say to the world. And um, so I encourage you to look at um, how they use materials to be that form of expression for them um, and recognize the incredible uh, craftsmanship that's a part of, of each of, of their works. I um, wanted to use this curatorial opportunity to um, think about three words or three ideas that I use frequently when I'm looking at work. And these ideas are narrative, abstraction, and iteration, thus the title of our show. And all of these um, ideas can be seen through the um, work of these artists. 
like I used it as a lens to select them, and then I think you can use it as a lens as you look at the works and think about the work and the meaning behind these works. I chose 19 artists, um, women, from the Penland community to recognize this 100th anniversary uh, of the 19th Amendment. They represent a really wide swath of Penland's community, different ages, works in, work in different media, have different relationships to the school, and they call attention to the many, many, many other women artists who are um, a part of the Penland uh, extended community. I wanted to represent as closely as possible within my self-imposed limits of 19, um, the loosely 10 different media that uh, are represented in the um, programming at Penland. So you'll find glass, textiles, ceramics, um, paper, photography, book arts, printmaking, uh, drawing and painting, uh, metal smithing, so iron and uh, jewelry making, um, and woodworking among the uh, works in this show. So there you have it, the 19th Amendment, the 10th anniversary, and um, women in Penland. So um, let me just now give you some of my thoughts about narrative abstraction and iteration. And with these descriptions as a guide, you will see why I selected the works in the show, and I hope you'll enjoy looking at them um, with, with these thoughts in mind. For me, narrative is really about storytelling. These are works of art um, that present us with ideas to contemplate. The artist may make this very clear, the label may give us a clue, and the works might suggest something that we as a viewer um, then fill in with our own um, narrative experience. These works engage us in storylines that can be quite literal or may come at us obliquely. I see abstraction as breaking down um, the complexity of our existence into manageable parts, as selectively isolating a gesture or an idea, or as a way of searching for the essence of something. In other words, to abstract is to summarize, um, to seek clarity, to use this, that opportunity of looking to select out and summarize. And iteration refers to a process of repetition. Uh, iteration involves making something or uh, taking some action, and then that action generates a feedback loop so that you do something and then you see the results of that thing, and then you create another work that's involved or based on or responding to that feedback that you just got. It's the experience of making something and then processing that feedback which then influences the next making. And uh, I think of iteration as forming patterns through time, and that pattern is like repetition through time. <clears throat> I also want to encourage you to check out the handouts, as I said, that we produced. The artists have reflected on the 19th Amendment, so um, you'll be able to hear how they're thinking about the freedoms that that we now observe and the degree to which there are freedoms yet to, um, to really feel. You know, there's, there's certain um, limitations and certain issues that still need to be addressed. And so the artists have commented on these kinds of things as you read their statements on the 19th Amendment. And then they have another handout that is about their relationship to Penland. So you'll get a chance to see, to read um, how, how they came to be part of the Penland community and what it's meant to them. We also have the artist's statements and bios, which give you so much more insight into their, into their work and their backgrounds, how they came to be um, where they are today. 
Each of the artists in this exhibition holds a very special relationship with Penland School of Craft. They have been students, instructors, studio assistants, uh, core fellows, resident artists, um, and staff members. They value the work of the hand and the connection of the materials that they choose to the ideas that they want to convey. I hope you will get to spend time with the work virtually and in person. Um, it's such a complex, invigorating, emotionally engaging, and visually stimulating body of work. And then you'll be able to have your own thoughts and your own conversations with these artists about storytelling, abstraction, and iteration. Thank you.